Mirant is recently announced the release of Docker Enterprise 3.1, which comes with many new features, including support for GPU that makes it easy to run AI and machine learning workload. It's also a great resource for data scientists. Today in TMDR to 10 or 20 minutes tutorial, we have with us David Kramer, Principal Solutions Engineer at Mirantis, who will walk us or who will provide us with a crisp walkthrough of the GPU support in Docker Enterprise 3.1. Ultimately, we want to make it really easy to deploy data science and AI ML workloads across our platform. So we've pre-installed the NVIDIA device plugger in accordance with reference architecture on Docker Enterprise. So if we head over to UCP, go back to nodes, the only thing I really need to do now is to add a node to my cluster. So this is very similar to what we showed for Windows nodes. I'm going to select a Linux node type as a worker. I'm going to go ahead and paste or copy the Docker Swarm join command, then head over to a command prompt where I can SSH to my GPU node. Okay, once I do that, we'll paste in the command and we can see that this node was joined as a worker. Again, the assumption here is that I have the infrastructure provisioned and that I run a setup script on that node before joining it. Okay, so back in GPU, you can see that my node is initializing. So now I have a healthy node that's been added to my cluster. We can see that UCP recognizes this as a GPU node. It tags it appropriately. And if I go back to the dashboard, it also notifies me under GPU nodes that I have a worker attached to my cluster. Perfect, so now we're ready to deploy a workload. In this example, I'm going to donate the GPU node to the Folding at Home project. So those of you not familiar with Folding at Home, it allows me to essentially you know, take my compute resources and donate to science. And if I look at my repo, I'm gonna give some credit here to Rich Stokes for the original work on this repository, but fundamentally, it's allowing a Kubernetes cluster to be donated to the cause. I can go to my folding at home YAML configuration, and you can see that I'm pulling an image from DTR. And then here's the important tie-in, right? Under resource limits, I'm designating that I'm going to associate this deployment with a GPU node in my cluster. So now I can apply this configuration file to my cluster. All right, I can use cube cuddle. And I'm going to put it in the launch namespace as before. Perfect. So it created my deployment. I can verify this back in uh, UCP. I'm gonna go under Kubernetes, look at my controllers, and you can see my deployment configuration is green, meaning it's been successfully applied. Let's just verify that the resources for this has also been assigned to a GPU node. And so to do that, we're going to describe this node So down here, we can see that we've successfully associated my deployment to the GPU node within my Kubernetes cluster. Thank you, David. That was a really cool demo, dear. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo. See you in the next one. Bye for now.